Hello and welcome to the sixth video series of this Helm chart. So, as for what we have done, we have known what is Helm chart, how to install Helm chart. We have seen Helm lint, Helm template, Helm dry run commands, and along with that, we have created our first Helm chart. Hello world, Helm chart. And in today's session, we will be discussing about how we can variableize the Helm chart variables using values.yml files. So you can see uh, once you run the helm create command you will get a helm chart right and after along with that you get three important files that is chart.yml files you get templates folder which is containing your deployment.yml your service.yml files along with that you get your third most important file which is values.yml file in which we will variableize all the values so let's in today's video we will see how we can make use of values.yml file so that we can variableize the templates folder all the yml files okay let's go ahead to our lab and let's see so here is our helm chart which we have created using helm create and hello world command you can see we have our hello world chart here let's see the folder structure so this is our folder structure as per now so this is our deployment.yml file this is our service service account.yml this is our service.yml and this is the values.yml file where we will be variableizing the values of service.yml today so that we will have an idea like how to going forward how can we variableize these all things let's go ahead and let's explore what is our values.yml is currently containing so let's see let's go to our helm chart that is hello world so this is the directory so let's go to our values.yml file values.yml okay so let's go up start so here we have variable set already for replica count for image for for array you can for list and all you can write like this image and all so okay okay so let's go ahead and let's see for what we can variable variableize let's go to template folder okay here we have service.yml so okay so let's take a scenario like we don't want to come to the service.yml file and uh, we have we will change these values like what will be the type of uh, our this service which is running i don't want to write here directly right here we have wrote it is by default wrote clustered ip and it has given port equals to this so this is what we want to variableize here right so how to write variable this is our first question we should arise right so let's go to the variable file and let's see how to write the variables okay cat service dot yml okay 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 so let's come one folder back where our values dot yml file is there okay this is our values dot yml file so we were writing for so we are writing for this type of service right inside service we have the type as clustered ip we have the port open as 8080 so this we want to variableize so let's go again to values.yml let's create a variable here okay i came in insert mode here anywhere just click and write simply name any variable so that you can access there okay so this is the service so what is the type what was the type so type of instead of that you can place here as well right so let's take it as a node port okay this is our type of service and here what will be the port we are defining typical port number we are giving let's 8080 okay 
so you have given service type and port okay so this is done let's go back and let's go to our service file now right we have to provide these values to that file itself right so let's go to template folder again let's go to service.yml okay so let's come to insert mode and here the type you wrote right directly now we have to pass the values which we have wrote in values.yml right so how to write double curly braces open okay and after that you have to provide a space okay both side the space should be one one space should be maintained here right now you have to type like this caps value values dot the name of a, a service you gave there right service we gave name of the list and along with that we gave here we have to provide the type right same like this okay so like this it will take the value of type now coming to the port we have to give curly braces open and close double let's give it space okay now let's start writing dot values values dot service in which part of service you want here port you want okay so now this is done so like this way you can variableize the target port also protocol also name also the same name you will provide in the uh, service where we have defined this value in value, values.yml file you can write for this all thing as well okay for example i have took these two things so this is done now let's uh, let's run once helm lint command so that we can verify our syntax not here we came to the home directory helm lint hello world okay so you can see it is fine one chart is linted and zero failed right so once this is done let's do our second command helm helm template hello world and here we can see right our things let's go to service.yml where is that this is our service.yml and see the values which we have gave in our values.ml it is now getting directory as directly assigned here right node port the type and this port number it is getting assigned from our values.yml file correct earlier it was clustered ip in 8080 we have overridden like instead of that we have set variable these all things and we set the value from there right and now it is taking this node port and 80 so let's go ahead and let's release this template okay so what was the command help install three okay and what is the helm chart name that is hello world right okay so you can see it is deployed revision one first time we ran it let's list the helm chart helm list hyphen a so this is the one which we have created right now so it's done let's see the service okay cube kubectl get service so this is the one my release 3 right which service we have created so this is the port which is opened for this 31663 so nginx server should run here 31663 let me close this this belongs to some other ip okay this is the ip what about the port this time 31663 hit enter 
okay so welcome to nginx so like this you can variableize your things using values.yml file that is a short introduction you can go ahead and try more and more so if you want to get more knowledge on this please watch my previous videos related to the same series and do like and uh, comment for the challenges you are facing from your side along with that if you want me to support please subscribe my channel thanks for watching